Alrighty there, uh, welcome to uh, Back of the Landing Net. Um, we're down here at Warmwell Lake, Heron. Yeah, we've come after the big cart this time. We're a bit frustrated. We've been on this lake a couple of times. We've seen big cart coming out. We've only topped about 12 pounds, haven't we, at the moment? Yeah, we, we've had some pretty looking fish out of here, but um, you know, it's about time we got on to one of the bigger ones, so we're going to give it a go. Yeah, I'll tell you what we're doing as well. I'm lucky enough to have tomorrow off. So I'm actually doing the whole night. Jay's going to stay here till about 10 o'clock, hopefully get one in the evening. Um, that's about it really, isn't it? Yeah, um, just nicked down after work, um, join Chris for a bit and uh, yeah, hopefully between us we'll get a carp or two. Yeah, fingers crossed. Let's get carp fishing. Let's do it. Right, i um, got my hands on a nice little bait here. Um, lucky enough to try this out at Wadmill during the match we were fishing and uh, had some nice carp out on it. So I thought I'd give it a go down here. Um, I picked it up from the tackle shop there at Wadmill. Um, CC More Live System Bucket is a session kit. And what you get, bag of boilies, tub of pop-ups, some glug, and some pellets all in the same flavour. Looks like quite a nice one there, Chris. What happened there, mate? I don't know. He felt alright. It's a shame. It did put quite a bend in that rod, it looked like one of the bigger ones. Right, as you know, me and Jay, we love carp fishing, that's our number one love. But we've seen a few cracking pike on this lake, and we've heard there's a 30 pounder or two in here, which sounds incredible, but we've seen some real big ones on the top. And so I'm going to give my mate Mr. Mackerel a go here, just uh, whipping through the swim, see if we can get one of them out. Uh, look at that then, just about a double I think. Give me a great fight, took the lure straight away. Back of the landing net. Well, how about that for a turn out for the books? That's got to be my biggest pike ever. And to be honest, I'm pretty happy leaving the pike fishing to the other fellas. Luckily there was a guy who was very experienced pike fisherman was on hand to unhook it and um, really help us out with that. And to be honest, I think I'll leave the pike till next year. So see you next year. Well, it does show though, Chris, there's some bloody lovely pike in here. That is a fact. Well, like you probably said in the video, that I'd only been doing that for five, five, ten minutes, and bang, straight away. And that was the first one. So, to be honest, I do believe there is a 30 pound in here. And I can kind of see the appeal of them because they are proper beasts. They're prehistoric, look like bloody crocodiles, flipping out the water. Shame I was on the other side of the lake, really, because Jay could have got some of the filming of the tail walking and all that. But yeah, enjoyed it. but. Two rods back on cart now, I think. Lovely. Right, I've moved on over to Kingfisher's Lake for about an hour's fishing, and uh, it's a fish a minute to be honest with you. It's recently been restocked with about 3,000 carp, average one or two pounds, but the carp do go up to about 17, and I have seen some big ones with, with my own eyes as well. The lake also contains a huge amount of quality bream, there's also a good number of roach and rudd. So really it's an ideal place to take young anglers for their first fish or anybody really that wants to gain a bit of experience. I'm fishing very sim uh, simply today just to prove that fishing is absolutely easy. The only thing that I'm doing, I've just got a small hook on the end of my line, no float, no weight and I'm just wrapping a little bit of cubed luncheon meat around that hook and uh, chucking a few bits out just before I drop mine in and uh, just catching the fish on the drop off really. Like I say, I'm, I've caught some really nice little carp, some nice roach, rudd, uh, bream as well. Um, so it really is a place where you're guaranteed to catch carp. 
and it's an absolutely stunning piece of water again as well so it really is good you're not going to come here and uh, be disappointed that's for sure so there is one other lake uh, down here at Warmwell that's Horseshoe Lake it's shaped in the shape of a horseshoe it's got about 10 pegs that's got about a thousand carp um, good number of bream, tench, brooch, rudd and perch to two pounds, two and a half pounds and the carp here as well go up to about 15 pounds so uh, perfect for the pole I'm told but once again there's no shortage of fish it really is uh, something for everyone down here right I've caught enough of these little buggers so uh, I I'll get this one in and head back down to Heron and uh, try and get myself a specimen cup <laughs> back at the landing net right um, we haven't had any carp out yet Chris has had his pike but we've Chris has lost one and uh, I've had a couple of good little runs there as well um, but at the end of the day it's nice to really feel at one with nature so just happy to be here really yeah lovely isn't it? Mm. right it's competition time again and uh, it's probably one of the best ones we've done to be honest it's a mega prize it is a mega prize um, we're offering you the chance to be on back of the landing net to help us present it um, or if you fancy it grab a mate and have a match against us so if you're local to Dorset or you can get down here and you want to feature in episode 40 all you have to do is log on to the website find the competition thread and just tell us your favourite back of the landing net moment um, we're going to put all of the entries into a hat and draw it out. Um, we'll probably make a little video up with that. And uh, yeah, you can get one down here. It's only open to YouTube subscribers. But uh, yeah, it should be a pretty good day. Back at the landing net. Well, well, well. Um, not a blanking for me. Um, it's probably the end of the day for me. Got out this little skimmer. Um, in a way, I'm pretty glad to see it. So uh, at least I had the alarms go. Right, well my time here for the day is done, um, I've caught a little bream, we've had a few knocks, um, nothing spectacular, it's been hard going to be honest, but uh, yeah it's been a bit hard going, that's what happens in all lakes though doesn't it really, that's it, but literally in the last five minutes I've had a few, well kind of about five or six beeps in a row, a bit, you know, a bit slow to hit, but hopefully as the night wears on I'll get myself a few carp. I hope so, I hope so, we came here to catch carp and we've got a pike and a bream so far. That's it. It's the way it goes. But uh, yeah, I'm going to head off now. Hope Chris has a good night and you'll see him holding up loads of carp. I'm going to pop back in the morning, see how we get on. Yeah, okay. See you later, mate. Good luck. Hello, it's uh, Chris Camp here. It's 11.30 and I've just missed an absolute screaming run. Just pulled away, got out the elbow, hit it, hit it, nothing on the end. Right, I finally got my hands on a carp. It's taken a hell of a long time today. But yeah, just as I thought, at the margins, it needs a stunning linear mirror. I'm really happy with that. It's a fair bit of hard work. They just haven't been on the feed today. But this little bugger obliged. Took my uh, Nash IC1 and um, off he went. I'm really happy. Back of the land in there. How long it is this? We did a trip a couple of months ago. Right, I've just nipped down here before work and to see how Chris has got on overnight. Uh, how's it going? Yeah, just the one like you saw. Yeah. Um, had a few other little runs, a few beeps, but nothing. The unfortunate thing is, a couple of pegs down, the guy pulled out an absolute whack. I didn't hear exactly what way it was, but it was a nice fish. So I'm a bit annoyed about that really. Some, some days it's on for mate, some days it's not. And uh, you know, we've had good days down here and we'll have more good days down here. So it's just getting through it. That's it mate, that's it. I mean, highlight for me was definitely the pike. Lovely beast. <laughs> just 10 minutes of spinning and it was a nice double pike for me. One of my first double, um, so we've sorted out a day's tuition actually, where we're gonna learn how to uh, handle pike and hook them really safely. I mean, there's barbers on here anyway but it would be nice wouldn't it just to be shown and get our confidence up. Yeah, the pike in here go up to about £30 and there's plenty of them as well. So um, 
Yeah, it'll be uh, pretty pretty fun to get one of those big boys. Yeah, I'd we'll, say so we'll be giving that a go next time we're down there. That's it. That's it. Right, well, um, good luck in the competition. Mm. Yeah, look forward to uh, presenting back of the landing net with you. Uh, not him, but he's the one. That's it. Anyway, we'll see you next time back of the landing net.